assalamu alaikum everyone uh, it's mohammed abdullah and today we will learn how to uh, build and flash some code to stm32 f3 discovery board actually it's a microcontroller and uh, uh, today we will be uh, you know first build and then flash some code uh, to light up a uh, led uh, on this board so before starting this video I'm assuming that you have uh, Rust installed on your system and also you have set up um, your STM32 F3 discovery board um, on your Linux operating system. So let's start. First, uh, what you have to do, uh, go to any browser and uh, open this book, Rust Discovery. Uh, we will be uh, using this book throughout our video. So when you open this book, um, and uh, if you are a newbie and you don't set up your board uh, to your Linux operating system there are instructions um, given for them in chapter 3 so you can see this so we will skip this and uh, um, our main task is to uh, build some uh, to write some code and to then flash it to our F3 discovery board so before this uh, navigate to chapter number five on this book and uh, here you will find a link uh, of discovery repository actually it's a github repository where uh, uh, we have some seventeen chapters in this book so uh, all the code of these seventeen chapters is already written in this in those respiratory so we'll be using this so what you have to do uh, just uh, click on this link so it will take you to uh, to the github repository from where you can clone this repository to your system i already have cloned this repository uh, to my desktop and here it is and here you can see in the src folder that there are 17 uh, different folders in which all chapter code is written already written so after this uh, you have to uh, first connect your uh, board to your system and when you connect uh, first we have to uh, open OCD connection so how can we do it let's see uh, you need to go to um, flash it section uh, 5.2 of this book and there you will find out this command so first open terminal and uh, paste this first command there first we will navigate to temp and then we will open our OCD connection so um, when the uh, OCD connection successfully opened there are two main things uh, to be noted first that uh, when you paste this command here you should see this output screen uh, which will telling that there are six brick points and four watch points if you uh, get this screen so uh, congratulations you have successfully opened the OCD connection and uh, the second thing is you will see on your uh, STM board that uh, the light adjacent to uh, ST link input port uh, will be blinking between uh, green and red. Okay, so this light uh, adjacent to ST link input port uh, start blinking between green and red. So it is the indication that we have uh, successfully opened the OCD connection. Okay, so now uh, we successfully open the OCT connection. Now what we have to do, we have a, a code of uh, some LED pattern in the discovery folder that we have just cloned into our system from GitHub. So uh, we will going to open it and uh, we added it to our requirement and then we will build it and then flash it to our board. So let's do it. Uh, we will be using Visual Studio Code Editor uh, to editing and you know building and flashing the code 
so we uh, what you have to do uh, as you clone that is repository to your system so you go to visual studio code and here you have option to open folder so I have this folder uh, on my desktop so you will go there discovery src and we are using chapter number five for this video so you will open this uh, chapter number five and as you can see this chapter number five is open uh, you have to go to src and main.rs so this is the our uh, rust code that is written in this folder what we have to do uh, this is um, for a basic concept um, you know for debugging we will see it later so our main goal is to uh, you know flash some code to the STM board so that we can light up some LEDs of our choice so for this uh, we will slightly change this code and uh, for this you have to navigate to 5.4 the LED and delay abstractions there is this uh, you have to copy this code from here actually this is the code that will uh, blink LEDs of your choice on your STM32 board so we will paste that whole code here now uh, it's LED 0 here so we'll change it to LED 2 you can change it also to any LED from you know, 1 to 7 so we will doing this for LED now what we have to do uh, control s save this and now uh, the important thing begins from here now first we have to build this uh, before flashing it to our stm32 board so how can we build this open a terminal from here so you can uh, you can uh, you are on the folder of chapter number five of this discovery folder uh, discovery directory so when you open terminal and you are on the um, right folder open that book again and navigate to uh, chapter number 5 5.1 build it section from there you will find this command copy this and uh, paste it here in vs code terminal this command will build this code for us to flash in stm32 board so run this command and you will see it will start building so i have already built this command before so it not uh, take too much time if you are building it first time so make sure that you have an internet connection because it will be uh, downloading some creates some libraries um, from server okay so it will take hardly two or three minutes and then you will see this output that uh, build successful not what we have to do uh, now we the second step is we will be mm, flashing it now the build is complete so the code is ready to flash to our system we already have opened the OCD connection so let's navigate to uh, this part and uh, here you can see uh, this code it's gdb and it's a target folder a uh, target code so we will be running this code in our vs code terminal so okay so there are you can okay you can see that you know um, there are three different commands um, for different type of linux systems so you know this command is not running on my co uh, on my system uh, i will show it to you there is some error and they have given also uh, they also have given 
uh, three different options if this is not working for you so you can use these commands I will show you later okay so when I uh, build this uh, copy and paste this command this just show me error that no such file directory so what you have to do instead of this uh, gdb before this dash q you have to write first uh, this command gdp multi arch and then uh, exit command from here that dash q till this so i have already written this command uh, in my notepad so i will be, i will be copying it and uh, for your ease i will be uh, you know pasting this command in the description of this video so you can copy and paste it from there so copy it and uh, paste it in the terminal after building so when you press enter you will see that uh, a gdb window will open so here now the code is ready to flash what we'll do next is go back to the book and uh, now we'll uh, open a remote connection by writing this command so copy this target remote four times three and paste it here now after this we have to load this command so when we load this command uh, it will uh, flash into our board and the program that we have just written for LED number two it will on the LED number two and after some delay it will off that LED so it's in the loop so this process will continue until we switched off the laptop or you know disconnected the board so I'm going to write load here uh, load command will you know finish the flashing procedure and uh, uh, first it will remove any program that is already on your board and when you press the reset button uh, then this program will be, st uh, will, be st will start running on your board so after pressing load command uh, you will see uh, if there are any LED blinking on your board it will stop and when you press uh, the reset button uh, the new code that you have just written will start running on your board Uh, so as you can see uh, as we load uh, run the load command this program that we previously flashed in to this port has been removed and the LED, LED is stopped blinking so now when we press this reset button what will happen the program that we have just written uh, for just LED 2 it will light up the LED 2 and then it will switch off so let's just uh, press the reset button and you will see that a new program will will be running on this board so press reset button and you can see now the LED 2 is blinking so it's all for today's video I hope uh, everything is clear so if there is any problem or you or you facing any problem while running this so you can ask me in comment section I will try to respond uh, your all questions so Thank you very much and I will uh, make some more videos as I learn more things. So it's uh, I think enough for today. So thank you very much. We'll meet you in the next video.